You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What security controls do you need to put in place in order to accomplish that? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Hosts. And today I want to talk with you about the CM family of controls within the FedRAMP control set. CM stands for Configuration Management. This family is all about ensuring that you have a good baseline configuration for your environment and that if you make changes, all those changes are first approved and authorized before they are implemented. So in terms of putting in place a baseline, CIS is an organization which has developed lockdown policies for Windows servers and for Linux servers. And they have uh, they've worked with Nessus and other scanning companies to be able to have plugins for those scanners so you can scan your servers to ensure that they are locked down according to those policies. If they're not, then you can go ahead and make the configuration changes to do that. In Windows, that's typically done in group policy, and in Linux, it's through some centralized configuration tool we use for that spacewalk. So putting in place a baseline for the operating systems is very important. It has to be in compliance with CIS standards. If you're doing a DISA IL-5 environment, then in addition to CIS, your operating system baselines have to be in compliance with STIG standards. So that's what you have for your baseline. The next is, what do you do when you need to make changes to the environment? Well, to manage that, you have to put in place a configuration management plan. And that plan has a number of different elements to it. One is that there's a team that's defined in that plan, which we call our configuration control board. And that team meets weekly to evaluate all of the requested changes and then decide which ones to implement. In terms of changes then, you have to decide which change types you're going to track. You can see on the screen now the change types that we've decided that we want to track. These are the ones that are under configuration management for us. And they make sense for someone built on top of Azure. Once you have that in place, then you may have a, a new configuration item. You might modify one, you might disable one. We have a tool to manage that process, and that's our configuration change request tool. That tool then is where people can request a change. It goes to the appropriate person for authorizing it or for the next step in the process, which might mean there might need to be a vulnerability scan or a maintenance window before the change is authorized and then the change becomes implemented. All of that is tracked in our tool, and so then in an audit at the end of the year, we can show our auditors that all of our changes have been tracked and authorized appropriately. Another key feature for the CM family is to have an up-to-date inventory of all of your system components. For us, that means subnets, the access controls that go around the subnets to block ports and IP addresses, the servers, the software on the servers, all of that is part of our inventory. And to keep track of that, we have developed a tool called our Admin Center, which is our key inventory tool and ad administering many other parts of our cloud. So once you have this inventory, you have to make sure that your inventory is up to date with what's actually deployed in your environment and with what you've authorized. So we have inventory tools scripts that run daily to check against what we have in our tool, our inventory, versus what's actually deployed versus what's authorized. Some of them run, run much more frequently than daily because in FedRAMP High, you have to determine within five minutes if a new server or new software was deployed in your environment. And so our tools run and alert us if that happens. All these are in place to ensure that you have a much more locked down system where any changes are authorized. Another feature to that is you've got executable whitelists to ensure that, you know, if some rogue program is trying to be installed by some bad party, they won't be able to because your executable whitelist won't allow that program to run. All of these things are part of configuration management, and uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about the CM family of controls or FedRAMP in general, please contact us. And please have a look at the other videos in this series and let us know what you think.
Thank you very much.